Let me start by saying how much I love this movie, although I'm sure you're hearing that from literally every person coming in the room. Uh, the movie's incredible. Um, and you. and also, this is your first movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, give yeah. You, <laughs> I give you a lot of credit. I, I Thank sin you. Sincerely. For all three of you, um, this is such an unusual script in the way that it balances comedy and mm -hmm. uh, it, the, everything about the script is so unusual. Can you yeah. sort of talk about reading it for the first time and what you took away from the experience? I mean, I, I loved it. It was the first script that I read and I can't read. I, I'd read one page, but I... <laughs> it's like the only thing I've ever read. Seriously, and I read it... Uh, no, I, and it's the only thing I've actually been in touch with. And I like how it's... it's it's a comedy, but it's also it's also really sad, and it's very well kind of the it's very well balanced and such because he's trying to tiger showing a really kind of dark and quite scary uh, time in history and a scary kind of what's the word a scary story, but he tr balanced it with comedy, so mm -hmm. you kind of feel more engaged with it and you kind of could relate to it more and and you could also kind of. Yeah, you could see the deeper meanings more. Yeah. yeah. It's this kind of script you pick up and you just immediately, you're like, this is going to be something really special and I'd be over the moon and incredibly lucky to be a part of it. Yeah, and it's just it's, it's a script you, I don't know, it's like a book you can't put down. You just want to more, 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 more. Yeah, it was a beautiful script. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, mm -hmm. I wish, you know, people could actually had access access to the script as a whole because mm -hmm. it was it was of course there's a lot of improvised stuff in there um you know that made it on the screen but the the actual writing was uh it was just this perfect little gem mm -hmm. and um you felt the uniqueness of Taika's voice when you mm -hmm. read the script and it, it's funny because we were saying some people before the film obviously has come out have asked us to give kind of a log line it's impossible to pitch this story um it get you go down so many pardon the pun but like rabbit holes trying to to mm. pitch the story because the tone of it is taika and it just has its own um its own flavor um but that when you read the script you could you knew you felt that and you yeah. knew exactly like mm. how how it yeah. was going to be and not you even like taika you could pitch it no yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you felt like you were there and such yeah. and you were like you yeah you were there and you didn't feel like you were reading the script you felt like maybe we should leak it <laughs> people, I, if you're people watching this, uh, if you want to find it, when because yeah. it's going to be in the award conversation, they're going to put the script out there for people to see. I'm, yeah. I'm sure. It, it's. Um, I, I have to ask you. One of the things is that um, you're you're pretty young, but I think it's very mm. important every year for like a World War II movie to come out to remind people of the atrocities and what really yeah. happened. Um, can you sort of talk about uh, that that thing? Because so many people still don't think certain things happened. It's like their mind is so closed. Yeah, that's true. It, 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 I think what's, it's, this film is unique in the sense that it kind of delivers that message through comedy. And so, you know, the audience is having this shared jovial experience and they're able to kind of laugh at all the slapstick stuff. And then when these impactful moments happen and the facts are right there in front of you, it just kind of like, hits you so powerfully um, that you're left with this kind of profound feeling of, you know, of, of loss and the weight of the reality of this war and, and the atrocities that happened, you know, uh, to, to so many millions of people. Um, you know, and, and I think what, what remains in this story, which is so beautiful, is this hopeful message mm -hmm. of of love and connectivity um, and this shared experience of, you know, of, mm. of two, two young people, you know, really able to find, you know, this kind of innocence of childhood and, and even though whatever, all this horror that they've been through, they still, they find each other with imaginary <clears throat> play and, and, you know, just the mm. sameness of being human. Yeah. It's like this was their childhood and such, so like, whoa. Because then you, when you think of your childhood, it's like a special thought, but then... But then it must have been, I don't know. And, and like you said, it's a story that we can never stop telling. People always need to be, need to be reminded of it, and 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 we need to. Yeah, it's important to see it in different, kind of from different points of view and different perspectives, and 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 through different lenses, and then yeah, it's just we can 
we need to be reminded of it and we need it as a warning not to let those things, those most just hateful things ever happen ever again. Com completely. Uh, Stephen Merchant uh, mentioned when I talked to him with Sam Rockwell that he was always trying to get uh, Sam to break on camera. That was like his <laughs> mission to get him to laugh. Um, did he try, I mean he's only in the movie a little yeah. bit, but did he try that with you at all or what was it like on set with you? He didn't, he didn't need to try. He, yeah, no. <laughs> he didn't need to. I mean. That character is terrifying. I, know, I, huh? I really, I really get what Stephen was saying because we do these lines and yeah, I know he he never pull off muscle. It was really weird and professional. Who's he'd, Sam? Yeah, he'd be like, and I'd be laughing like, like this little ten year old going, <laughs> <laughs> and he just like never, no, it was really good. Right. Anyway, um, I, I'm going to switch and, and say, uh, uh, Taika is such a gifted actor, director, writer. What was it like to collaborate with him on set, and um, what maybe surprised you about the experience? I think everybody knows that Taika is a hilarious guy. I mean, incredibly witty and humorous. And but I think also just working with him, I learned what he's got such a big heart, and he has really important stories to tell and messages to share. So I, I wasn't surprised by that, but it was just yeah, nice. He's yeah, such a kind guy. Yeah, he he also is such an amazing actor, and you see like he he hears the rhythm of his of the dialogue in his in his mind, and he's so in tune to how things like the musicality of dialogue, yeah. um, which is why I think the pacing of this movie is so fantastic, mm. um, and all of his films have like an incredible pacing to them. Mm. Um, you know, he finds it also like in the edit and the musical choices he mm. makes and how things are visually jarring and how they juxtapose and um, he just, he has an amazing, he's an am incredible visionary and uh, his aesthetic is so, is so unique. Even the way he like presents himself is, is so particular. Um, mm -hmm. And I was, I was always impressed by that, how he is like a, a comic genius that way. Oh, no, he's very good at composing life and energy and such. <clears throat> he's always, it always feels like personal and kind of like, Kind of, kind of, you kind of like, oh yeah, my life's kind of like that. It's not kind of, it's kind of loud, and it's sometimes the conversations are fast, fast paced, and personal. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going with this. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I have to stop. I'm just going to say again, uh, congratulations on the movie. It's one Thank of the best of the you. year. Thank you. Uh, have a fantastic day. Thank you. Thank you. Letter